Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the after after party. All right. Like I promised you before we went to go like sell stuff to you, we're back. I got the funniest guy on the planet. He's a really good friend of mine. I, I've been doing comedy 20 years. I rarely see somebody this funny. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Kenny King. <laughs> Albuquerque, let's get right to it, because I ain't got much time up here tonight. That's right, I got Michael Vick watching my dog, so I gotta get on back to the house. You know how that go. Ain't no telling what Mike got them dogs doing right now. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I got lost trying to find this place tonight, man. How many people ever get lost in their car and start to panic and do stupid stuff? Like turn off the music like it's gonna help you find your damn way. You ever do that? You be riding along like, hey, yeah, where in the hell am I? And that music won't come back on, right, till you see something that looks familiar? You know what I'm saying? You're like, hold up, that's first aroma right there. I know where I'm at now, boy. Yeah. As comics, we do shows in some weird places, man. I did a show in Litchville, Alabama. Oh yeah, you know they were happy to see me, right? And it was scary when I first got there because I heard on the radio there was a blackout in the city. <laughs> I'm thinking there was a power outage. They ain't talking about my black ass, right? <laughs> and when you go to Alabama, everyone's always talking about the KKK. I'm not afraid of KKK. I grew up down south. I had seven siblings. You know what I'm saying? We used to pray the KKK would come through our neighborhood. That's right, because hell, we needed sheets. That's right. <laughs> hell yeah. I'm single right now, right? Single, came close. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, I saw three guys clapping too, hey. <laughs> I came close to getting married, right? But I made that mistake of like living with a woman first. Cause women, y'all do some weird things in relationships. My girl woke me up one time, three o'clock in the morning. Kenny, 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 wake up, wake up. I said, what's wrong, baby? I thought the house was on fire. I ran to the refrigerator, grabbed the chicken. Cause you know, we try to get our valuables. You know what I'm saying? And I'm getting ready to get out the house, right? And she said, no, I'm having a, I was having a nightmare. I said, what's wrong? She said, I dreamed we were riding through the desert in your four by four Jeep and you just freaking left me. Three o'clock in the morning, I did not want to hear this. I told her, I said, well, baby, go back to sleep and I'll come back and pick you up. <laughs> Leave me the hell alone, man. Thank you. I was feeling kind of lonely today, right? I was feeling kind of lonely today, so I went down to the Catholic church and let the priest touch me. And uh, don't y'all judge me. <laughs> they had a good time, I had a good time. Nobody got hurt, you know? And you know, sometimes the Catholic priests get a bad rap, right? Because they always talk about, they, you know, all the child molestation, all that stuff going on. I went to Catholic school, and the priest never touched me. And I'm still upset about that, because I wasn't an ugly kid, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm mad about that right now. How many people by applause got kids? I hate your kids, all right? <laughs> Nothing personal, but I hate kids. That's why, that's why I love this time of the year because I get to go to the mall and beat the crap out of other people's kids, man. I can't... People discipline your kids, right? Discipline them. And I'm not talking about just spank them. I'm talking punch them in the head, kick them, pepper spray them, shoot them if you have to. Kids are bad, man. Because they be disrespecting us as parents, right? We don't deserve that because kids cost a lot of money. That's why I got rid of my kids. I don't even have kids no more. I saw a commercial said it cost 17 cents a day to raise a kid in Cambodia. <laughs> Should have told me that. She put them on a plane, send them to Cambodia. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I'm all for that feed the children and all that kind of stuff. But sometimes they take it a little too far. They be showing the little kid with, with flies flying around his face and looking all hungry and stuff. Have you seen the size of those flies in Cambodia? And he's flying right by the kid's mouth. I'm like, eat that fly, grab it! <laughs> Chomp on it! And then, and then they show like a wide angle and, and the kid's got like two brand new leg braces, titanium. You know how much a titanium leg brace costs? $25,000. My philosophy, look, sell that leg brace you want something to eat, right? <laughs> you gotta get your priorities together. You wanna eat or you wanna walk? You know what I'm saying? Me, myself, I'd rather be sitting on the ground with a full stomach. 
smiling than walking around going, damn, I'm hungry as hell. <laughs> and there's a myth going, there's a myth going around about, there's a myth going around about black guys. I travel all around the country, all around the country, and there's a myth going on about black guys. What that myth is, I have no idea what it is, right? But apparently Caucasian women especially are curious about the myth about black guys, right? <laughs> See what I mean? Yes. I was with this Caucasian girl, right? And she was uh, like expecting great things out of me. It started freaking me out, right? She was like, come on, Kenny. Do what you black guys do best. And I grabbed a person, I hauled ass. Hey, I'm Kenny King, thanks a lot. Y'all been a lot of fun. Peace.